Origins! Hey everybody, welcome to Allergies Bite. But tastes good! We're doing coffee! <laughs> yes, not, I am. <laughs> it's not really carnivore, because you know, the whole coffee thing. And it is, is gluten free. It is, it is. carnivore. <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to have a coffee segment, I think. Because we may as well. Yeah. Because there's all kinds of different ways you can do coffee. And so I don't offend anyone that is carnivore. It's coffee. Coffee is life. <laughs> Kind of was just part of it. So we're gonna make gelled coffee. This is like the coolest thing. I yep. saw this it just kind of come past and, and I kind of played with it a bit to make it more carnivore. Yeah. We took out all the sweetener. And it is really good. And don't judge me, man. Like I need one of these every Saturday, every Sabbath. Every Sabbath? <laughs> it's my happy time. <laughs> so come on in, let's make some coffee. Is, coffee. Coffee is always happy time. Absolutely. <laughs> so you need an instant coffee. We're gonna use organo uh, mushroom coffee. Ooh, so it's not just coffee, it's mushrooms. Well <laughs> They're both both questionable foods on the carnivore diet. That's what I said. We're calling it coffee. We're not discussing mushrooms. Which way to go? <laughs> we're not discussing mushrooms. So we're going to take half a tablespoon. Uh, you can use a tablespoon, which I have. Uh, it's just a little. Actually, these packages are just a little under one tablespoon. Okay. So you can do that. So either you can go as high as two tablespoons, but that's but it's really, really strong. Really strong. We yeah. found it way too strong. Half is, is nice, one tablespoon is nice. Half a teaspoon of Redmond sea salt. Don't need the spoon standing on end in the bowl. <laughs> it does it on its own anyways. We're gonna use two teaspoons of beef gelatin. I've got boiled water, and we're just gonna pour one cup of boiled water into this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a whisk, we're gonna mix this. Uh, you, I can't stand those layers of hard jello or whatever. Gelatin? And yeah, it's like hard jello. Okay. And that's what um, this is like if you don't do this stage. Okay. So we're gonna put a timer on five minutes and every I don't know, three to four times, we're gonna whisk this really good within that five minutes so that it foams up and then we're going to let it sit for a little bit of time. We're going to do it again and do it again. Each time you want to get it to whisk up. This is just my... Just to beat it. Yeah. This is my... Um, Stress release? <laughs> no, I was just thinking it's just a way for me not to deal with that skin, <laughs> that, that gelatin skin that I cannot handle. Okay, I've mixed it already, I think, three times. This is number four. Once a minute. <laughs> yeah. You're and working so hard on that, and I'm just whisking away. Oh, frother. <laughs> it's so sad. And we're done. Whisking time away. <laughs> okay, so we have five minutes done. We're going to add one cup of cold water now. And that's it. So um, what I've done is I've just left it in the bowl. You can do that and then put it in the fridge and then when it's hard, take it out and, and scoop it into your cups or we can just put it in our cups now so that it's ready to go. Okay. Don't want to make it too full. Since now all of a sudden you've figured out you like this too. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was too strong last time. The it, first time. It was, yeah, it was... It was pretty strong. It grows hair on your teeth. I thought not brushing does that. <laughs> so I guess we'll make three out of this. Ooh, so I get two? Well, unless they last for, uh, what, three weeks. Why would coffee last for three weeks? Yeah, knowing you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got three in there. We're gonna put them in the fridge and it'll take a while, but we'll be back because there's one more part we have to make. Okay, we're back and we need to make something to go with our coffee. 
So I made brown butter this morning. It looks like peanut butter. It smells amazing. All I'm gonna do is take one tablespoon, put it in a small bowl. Are we making peanut butter jelly coffee? <laughs> Not quite. Peanut butter and jelly coffee. <laughs> if this is a little bit um, harder, you need to beat it a little bit more. It's so soft that it doesn't take much right now. Because it's still extremely soft. Room temperature is great for that. And we're gonna add one cup of heavy cream. Now, the normal recipe for this has sweetener of some kind, brown sugar, syrup, whatever. Um, because I want to stick more carnivore, yeah. uh, no sweetener, we're using the brown butter as a replacement for that to make it different. So, hey, everything I do is different. What we want to do is beat this until we have soft peaks. Okay. Okay, so I'll let her go. Okay, it doesn't take very long at all. It's just very soft peaks. You don't want it stiff at all. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the coffee and we'll show you what we're gonna do. So our coffee has been in the fridge for about four and a half hours. Uh, it's... Solid. Jiggly! And I thought I'd try something different. Now I haven't done this before. Like I said, I usually just for us, I throw it in a bowl and I leave it in the bowl. Um, but I saw this where you um, put a plastic wrap down and then you can slide it off. Now I'm not, I'm thinking so that it doesn't stick, but I can't see how it would stick. Yeah. So I don't know. Like it's just something I saw. And then cut it into slices. So you've got squares. Okay. So that it's not mashed, but it's squared. I don't know. So Jello cubed. Jello cubes. <laughs> Coffee cubes. So like that, right? It's, it's weird. It's different. I don't know. You can drink it, eat it, whatever. But what we're going to do with this is we're just going to put a spoonful on top of our coffee. Spoonful, a little bit more. And then when you eat this, you mix it in. If the idea of having half a teaspoon of salt in your coffee is like freaking you out, try a little bit less. Yeah. The salt does take the bitter taste of the coffee away. So, and we always put salt in our coffee. Yep. So there you go. So, um, that's Jill jelly coffee. <laughs> it's simple, it's good. <laughs> and if you don't want to put much cream on, you put a little bit on. If you want sweetener in it, you can do syrups and well, swerve. Brown sugar, you can do swerve, you can do honey. Um, I don't, this is what I All like. you have? Yeah. Yep. And I don't have it very often, so if you're following me on the lion diet, don't freak out. It's a treat. So uh, you want to see what Chance thinks of it? I thought it was pretty good. Hope you like this video and we'll see you again next week. Bye! Bye.